Okay, Assalamualaikum. Today we will continue with chapter 9 which is uh, the basic strategies of the option. So in our last, in my last video, uh, I did mention about the four different strategies that we have. We have long call and long put. We have short call and short put. So long call and long put is actually the bias position. Alright, siapa kita kat sini? Kita adalah pembeli option. Meaning to say dalam case ni, we have right. Right, kalau you beli call option, you have right to buy shares at exercise price. Kalau you beli put option, you long put, you have the right to sell shares at the exercise price. Kat sini pula adalah seller's position. Kalau you jual call option, okay, you jual call ni kepada orang yang beli kat sini, alright, you will have obligation to sell the shares at X. Short put pula, you jual apa? You jual put option. You bagi hak dekat orang sebelah ni to sell shares at X, maka you ada obligation to buy shares at, at X. Okay? So, today we are going to learn how to do how to draw the diagram for uh, this all four basic strategies all right so sebab whiteboard ni kecil saja so saya akan tulis kecil-kecil sikit so we will start with long call okay kita beli call option we long call we buy call option so this option give us what right to okay right to buy shares at x okay okay let's say kita long call lc ya eh? Di long call RM10 ringgit at 50 sen. Apa maksud dia? Kita beli option harga berapa? 50 sen. Alright. Bila kita beli option, okay, ini adalah the premium. Harga 50 sen. Kita ada right to buy share pada harga 10, 10 ringgit. Beli dulu option tu. Alright. After you buy the option, you have the right to buy the shares at 10 ringgit. Okay. So why at the first place you beli call option? Because you expect market is bullish. Okay. Alright, you jangka harga akan naik. So, let's draw the diagram. Market is bullish. Ini dia mem memang dia punya market outlook. For those who buy call option, memang dia jangka market akan bullish. Dia bullish, draw naik. Ah, gitu. Okay. So, what type what type of option is this? Call. Call. So, macam mana lukis? Tarik. Call. Ah, tarik ke sini. Okay. So, then you draw the part C, Y and then part C, X. Okay, so part C, Y is actually the profit or loss. So sebab ini adalah stock option, maka dia dalam ringgit. This one adalah current market price lah. Also in ringgit. So how to plot the graph? Okay, so where is the X? Ini adalah X, ini adalah free premium. Okay, so X kat sini ni, kat bahagian yang patah ni. Yang, okay, this is X, your exercise price, 10 ringgit. Okay. This is of course your premium, uh, your premium, sorry, your break even, okay. How to calculate the break even? Equals to X plus premium. So this one adalah 10 ringgit. Tambah 50 sen, maksudnya berapa? 10 ringgit, 50 sen. So this is your break even, okay. So this is your limited loss, okay. Alright, which is how much? 50, 50 sen. So, loss you akan limited pada area ni sahajalah. Kenapa you can limit your loss? Because you are the buyer. You have the right not to exercise your option kalau dia merugikan you. Okay? Alright. Okay. Let's go in detail about this. Let's say the price change. Okay? Eh, bukan. Katakan sekarang, current market price adalah... Mm, 12 ringgit Okay, let's say current market price is 12 ringgit Okay, so kat sini break even berapa? 10 ringgit setengah 12 adalah somewhere kat sini lah Lebih kurang kan, 12 Okay, so 12 Ini adalah current market price As you can see Current market price is higher than X Okay So current market price berapa kat sini? RM 12 While the X is how, how much? 10 It is higher Alright, bila current market price is higher than X, maksudnya apa? The option is in the money. Okay? Untung. Kalau kita plot kat sini, dia akan untung banyak ni lah. How to calculate the profit? Okay, profit equals to current market price minus X minus premium. Kenapa kena minus premium? Sebab premium ni kan modal cost to buy the option. So, how much is this? Uh, how much is it? The profit 12, tolak 10, tolak 50%. Kita untung berapa? Hmm, 
RM1.50. So this this would be your profit. Okay. Alright. Kalau lah sekarang saya tukar. Current market price adalah 11. Okay. Again, in this situation, current market price is higher than X. It is still in the money. Okay. Dia masih in the money. You still get profit. How much? 11, tolak 10, tolak 50 sen. You untung berapa? 5, 50 sen. Ah, 11 ringgit kat sini lah. Okay. But let's say I change again. Okay, current market price sekarang adalah 10 ringgit 50 sen. So what will happen? Okay. Kalau 10 ringgit 50 sen, kita compare. Current market price 10 ringgit and 50 sen. X is 10. Still. Okay. Still lagi besar. Maksudnya ia masih in the money. What would you do with the option? You will still exercise the option. Alright. Kita akan tetap guna option kita untuk beli share. Okay. RM10.50. Tolak RM10. Dapat apa? RM50. Tolak RM50. Maka you break even. You untung pun tak. Rugi pun tak. Maksudnya apa? Selagi mana it is in the money, you akan exercise the option. Okay. Okay. When the current market price is higher than X, alright, maksudnya intrinsic value, ingat intrinsic value for call option, current market price minus X, kalau dapat positif, maksudnya it is still in the money, you should exercise the op, the option. So good so far? Alright. Katakan, current market price sekarang, kondon eh, RM15. Of course, you akan exercise sebab sangatlah in the money. RM15 dengan RM10. Beza berapa ni? RM15. Tolak RM10, RM5. Tolak modal beli option. RM50, you akan untung RM4.5. You will make profit You will make profit by how much? RM4.50. RM50. But, katakan, market price bukan bullish. Market price tak naik eh. Market price jatuh kepada RM9. So, in this case, okay, market price jadi RM9 tau. Jadi sekarang ni what happen, the current market price will be lower than X. This one is 9, this one is how much? 10. Okay, kalau kita guna option untuk beli share, kita rugi. Baik, kita beli kat pasaran je sebab pasaran cuma RM9. If you use your option to buy the share, you have to pay RM10. You degil juga. You want to buy by using your option. Alright, maka kita akan rugi. 9 tolak 10 dah rugi berapa? Negatif RM1. Tolak pula RM50 kita akan doublekan kita punya rugi. Jadi RM1.5. So, if the current market price ni kat sini ni. Bila current market price kurang je daripada RM10. You will not exercise your option. So, by not exercising your option. You cuma akan rugi apa? You will only uh, lose your premium. Okay, you can limitkan loss you cuma pada pre premium. Kalau you exercise juga, you akan rugi lagi banyak. That's why the buyer have the right. Okay. Orang tak boleh paksa you to buy your, uh, the shares by using your option. Kalau lah keadaan ni berlaku, maksudnya apa ni? It is out of the money. When the current market price kecil daripada X, rugi beli share guna option. Baik burnkan saja option tu. Ingat eh, the option if you do not exercise your option, the option will burn. Bila burn maksudnya apa? Bila burn... Hangus lah ha, premium tu. Okay, bila hangus premium tu. Alright. Ha, it's okay. Kenapa? At least you limitkan your loss up to the uh, premium amount only. Okay. Tapi, kalau lah harga dia RM10. Current market price sekarang RM10. When the current market price equals to X, what does it mean? It means that, sama. Bila sama, it is at the money. Sama ada you exercise or not the option, you will still lose 50 cent. Betul tak? Betul? Okay. Profit or loss. Alright. Current market price minus X minus premium. Alright. This is what? Uh, 10. Minus 10. Minus. Okay. You still will lose 50 cent. Okay. Rugi. Jadi maksudnya apa? Kalau add the money. Kalau uh, out of the money. Senang cerita. Do not exercise the option. Kalau dia in the money sahaja kita exit, exercise. Are you good? Okay. Let's say saya bagi harga RM10.30. Sekarang harga pasaran adalah RM10.30. Okay. RM10.30 maksudnya apa? The current market price is still higher than the exercise price. Okay. 
Current market price at Ini adalah RM10.30 Exercise price 10 Still higher Maksudnya apa? It is still in the money Cuba tengok RM10.30 kat mana? Somewhere around here RM10.30 Kalau you exercise maksudnya RM10.30 Tolak RM10 Untung RM30 Minus 50 cent premium You akan rugi berapa? 20 cent Okay Alright Will you exercise the option? Yes Sebab kalau you tak exercise You akan rugi 5% But by exercising the option You can reduce your loss up to 20 cent only Kenapa? Sebab the option is still in the money Like what I told you just now Selagi mana dia in the money Walaupun kecil nilai dia ni RM10 tolak 30 cent Asalkan bila current market price tolak S Dia masih positif You should exercise Kenapa? You can reduce the the loss area ni Masih boleh exer exercise Okay So When Should not the buyer exercise the option Kalau current market price lower than X Start daripada 10 At the money dan bila dia out of the money kat sini Tak payah exercise Limit your loss Up to 50 cent only Tapi when the In the money situation berlaku Okay In the money tu maksudnya apa Current market price higher than X You should exercise your option Cuma kalau dari range harga 10 ringgit 1 sen kat sini Sampai 10 ringgit 5 sen You will not make make profit yet But you can reduce your loss When will you start making profit? Bila harga is higher than break even, break even. Kat sini baru you start making profit. So what can we conclude? As the buyer of call option. Okay. Profit is made. Okay. Profit is made when current market price is higher than X. Okay. Loss limited. Okay. To the pre premium. Okay. How to calculate the break even? Break even. Equals to X plus premium. Okay, so that is the first basic strategy which is long call. Okay.